Hey, I'm Tom Pito, and I'm gonna take you through a lower body and abs barbell workout. Section one of the workout, we're gonna be doing three rounds, six exercises, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. All you need is a barbell and some plates for this. I've linked a warm up in the description below if you're not already warmed up. I'm gonna be starting with 40 kilograms, that's 88 pounds. Let's get ready to go with that back squat. Have a nice controlled tempo on the way down. Make sure your knees aren't collapsing inside of your big toes, so push them out to the sides. Your heels should stay firmly planted on the floor, but your weight should be distributed evenly between the front of your foot, the back, the insides, and the outsides. Keep your upper back tight, and that should help set the whole line of your back a lot more secure. Take a short break. Throughout this workout, we're gonna be supersetting leg with ab exercises. So we're gonna come onto the mat and do some alternating V-ups next. If you've got some squat stands or a squat rack, feel free to use that for re-racking the bar if you've got it. Start with both heels on the floor and a slight bend in your leg. You're gonna draw one leg up without changing the angle at the knee and reach both hands up towards your toes. You're gonna to send your upper body every time doing a reaching crunch and alternate legs. When you come into that open position, make sure you're not overarching your lower back off the mats. Back to the barbell now, we're gonna do a deadlift. So you need the barbell on the floor and we're just gonna do a conventional style deadlift. Your feet should be around hip width apart. Make sure you set your back flat before you lift the barbell each time and keep the bar as close to your body as you can for the whole lift. Feel free to reset your back position with each rep or if you're managing to hold it in, you could just do touch and go reps where you touch the floor and come straight back up without losing that position. Back to the mat now, you're gonna do some reverse crunches. To make the exercise harder, bend your knees more and keep your heels closer to your bum. To make it easier, you want to extend your legs more, but whichever one you've chosen, make sure that knee angle stays fixed throughout. You want to roll up until your tailbone comes off the floor, drawing your knees towards your chest and only lower down as low as you can go without creating an arch in your lower back. Next, we're gonna stay on the floor, but you're gonna need your barbell and we're gonna do some glute bridges. If you've got a squat pad to put on the bar to make it more comfortable, or even fold a towel up and put it between your hips and the bar, I'm doing it without, so it is possible, but if you want it for comfort, just go grab one of those. Add a two to three second pause at the top of every rep and minimize the time you spend at the bottom. This will help maintain the time under tension, making it more challenging. At the top of the lift, you wanna tuck your ribs down and tuck your pelvis under slightly and push predominantly off your heels to help target the glutes more and your hamstrings a bit less. It's fine for the hamstrings to be working, but if we push through the heels, we can get a bit more glute activation. Next up, we're gonna do a controlled bicycle crunch. This is different to a regular bicycle crunch because you're gonna have one heel on the floor at all times, and it's more like an alternating oblique crunch than it is your conventional bicycle crunch. So with your fingertips, either on your temples or just behind your ears, you're gonna draw the opposite elbow towards the opposite knee while keeping the other heel on the floor, then open back out and alternate. You wanna consciously tense your abs at the top of each rep 
and try not to overarch your lower back when you come into that open position. Well done, there's round one of three done in this first section of the workout. You've got a 40 second break now to recover. If you found those sets a little bit too easy, just up the weight you've put on the bar slightly. And if you found them too hard and you're having to take extra breaks, then just lower the weight down on the bar. You need to clean and press the bar up and overhead onto your back, ready for the back squat, or if you've got a squat stand, take it off that.
There's two rounds done, just one to go in this first section. Then we'll be moving onto a lighter bar with six new exercises for the second half of the workout.
Great job, you're halfway through. We're on to section two now. You're gonna do three rounds, six new exercises, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. You're gonna to need to lower the weight on the bar. I'm gonna go down to 30 kilos, which is about 66 pounds, but go down to whatever weight is right for you. We're gonna be doing some Romanian deadlifts, pause front squats and lunges with this weight if that helps you make your choice. This workout is part of a seven day barbell series, which you can check out in my playlist. But if you've already been on that series for four to six weeks and you fancy trying something new, check out my 12 week barbell plan ebook, which I've linked in the description of this video. It's more of a strength plan, but it gives you sets, reps and percentages to work towards. The first exercise in the second section is going to be some barbell front lunges. You're going to alternate legs with the bar on your back. Make sure you're getting a nice full depth lunge, bringing that back knee as close to the floor as you can or gently touching if you've got a soft enough floor. Make sure that front knee doesn't cave in towards the big toe. Keep your upper back tight and your core stable. Now we're moving onto one of my favorite ab exercises that I believe is underrated. It's called a hollow hold. You can do this a few ways. Here is the single leg version, but you could also do it by putting both legs out. Let's get ready to go onto your mats. This is an isometric static hold, trying to not let your lower back arch off the mat whilst given a challenge by extending that leg arms. You can switch legs around the halfway mark if you want, or you could try with both legs out to make it more challenging. Your head and shoulders should be slightly off the mat. And just make sure that overarch doesn't appear in your lower back. Back to the barbell now, we're gonna do some pause front squats. If you struggle with wrist or shoulder mobility for these front squats, feel free to put the bar on your back and just do some pause back squats instead. Slowly lower down and we're gonna put a two to three second pause at the bottom of each squat. The weight we're using for this half of the routine should be slightly lighter than the first bit, but if we're adding these pauses in, we can still make these challenging. Back to a core exercise, but this time we're going to keep the barbell. We're going to do an overhead march. So you're going to be holding the bar overhead while doing an alternated controlled march with your legs. Try and bring one knee above hip height. You could even pause for a split second at the top. Minimize the side to side movement and just keep alternating with the elbows locked out nice and high above your head until you hit the 30 second mark. Next, we're going to hit the hamstrings and lower back with some double leg Romanian deadlifts. Unlock the knees slightly, but they should still be almost straight and then fix that angle. You're gonna pull your hips backwards, hinging at the hip keeping the bar nice and close to your shins and then feel that hamstring stretch, pause for a brief moment and then squeeze your glutes through, bringing the bar back to the top. Back onto the mat now, we've got another isometric bracing exercise. We're gonna do a dead bug.
Starting with your arms vertical, your quads vertical and your knees at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna drop the opposite arm and opposite leg towards the floor without letting the pressure cause an arch in your lower back. Bring it back to the center, rebrace and go with the other side. Well done, there's the first round done. Take a 40 second break and get ready to go for round two. If you're limited on your weight selection and you wish you had a few extra plates, then check out the links I've put in the description of this video. There's some companies with great value, good quality kit that you can check out in there. They are affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you any more to go through them. So if you're considering getting some kit, why not have a look at them after this workout? starting back with those barbell front lunges.
there's two rounds done just one final round to go well done if you made it this far make sure you stick with me as i said before this is actually part of a seven day barbell series this is day two so after this you could just carry on and go on to day three or check out the playlist and you could restart the series back at day one
keep going. This is the final set of the workout. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Once the workout's over, let me know in the comments, how did you find it? And where in the world are you doing the workout from? I love to hear where people are doing these workouts. As I said, this is day two of my barbell series. So make sure you either go on to day three, you can save it in the playlist tab. I'll also link it in the description. It's gonna be a barbell mobility routine. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, give the video a like, make sure you subscribe, hit notifications, and see you again soon for another workout.